All right, welcome to Unit 1, Lesson 5. This video will show you how to construct a line that's perpendicular to a given point that's on the line, and also how to construct an angle bisector. So you can choose to flip back and forth between the Illustrative Math website, or you can watch the whole video and then try to go do it on your own. But the goal is that you would be interacting with the website and completing the lesson. So this week's lesson is titled Construction Techniques 3, Perpendicular Lines and Angle Bisectors. And some of you have asked me, you know, where do I put my answers? Well, the lesson is intended for you to practice so that when you do the assignment, you're able to answer the question. So some of these questions will ask you to do something, but there's no place for you to actually type it in or submit it. I'm just trusting that you're going to do that. So the first question says, that point A and B are each the centers of the circles. So notice that A, B in this picture is the radius of circle A, and B, A is the radius of circle B, and the two circles intersect. The first question says, compare the distance E, A to the distance E, B. E, A is a point here that goes to A, and a point here that goes to B. And what you're supposed to notice is that both of those are radii, or a radius, of each of those circles. So how do they compare? I'll leave that for you to answer. Same question number two, compare the distance FA to the question, or to the distance FB. Very similar answer. And then draw the line EF and write a conjecture. Hmm, if we draw the line EF, what does that do? to the segment AB. How does it cross it, and how does it split the line? That's a big hint. Angle by er, segment bisector, perpendicular bisector, hmm. Okay, the next step actually lets you interact and gives you a line L with a point C on the line. And what you're supposed to do is use a straight edge and compass to construct a line perpendicular to L that goes through C. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you the steps and then you can practice that. When there's a point on the line and you're asked to draw a perpendicular bisector that goes through that point, first thing you have to do is create a circle that is centered at this C. And the reason that you're doing that, so I'm going to drag it out, and click. The reason that you're doing that is so that you can create two points on the line that are the same distance away from this point C. So I have one of them, F. I'm going to go ahead and find the other one by using the intersection tool, this one right here. So if I click that, and then I click two objects, the circle and the line, it creates two points on the line that intersect with the circle. Okay, so I created a circle, found where they crossed the line. Next thing I'm going to do is use these two points, H and G, as the center of a circle that has the same radius. So I can just start with the circle tool. I can click on G as my center and then drag out. As I drag out, it creates a circle. I'm going to make sure I go beyond point C. So I'll do that again. I'm going to make sure I drag this out so it goes past point C. I can go well past, but I'm just going to go somewhere in the middle, like this, and click. Now, I've created the first circle, this big circle with center of G. I'm going to use this other circle tool that lets me measure from here, G, to the edge of the circle, which is I. That's measuring the radius. So I've created an identical circle, and I'm going to move it over here and place it on G. And by doing that, I've created two circles. Both have the same radius, and you'll notice they intersect at the top here and the bottom here. And again, I can use my intersect tool. It's this one. I'm going to click on this circle and this circle. And now I have the two points where those two circles intersect, and I'm going to draw a line through them. Now, if you use the intersect tool and get actual points then when you go to draw the line it snaps easily at this point j click 
and then drag down to K and it will just snap right on there and click. That line that I just drew is a perpendicular bisector that goes through point C. So really quickly to review, start by drawing a circle. That creates two points on the line that are the same distance away from point C. Then you draw one circle centered at one of the points, and then you draw the same circle centered at the other point and figure out where those two circles cross. That makes the perpendicular bisector. Okay, the next one is asking you to find the middle of an angle. So you have this angle A, B, C. The directions say estimate the location of a point D so that it splits the angle, or so that A, B, D is approximately congruent to C, B, D. So you can just click on the point tool, and I'm going to just guess somewhere between A and B and put a point there. I'm just guessing. It doesn't matter if you're accurate or not, it's just a guess. All right, then it says use the compass and straight edge tool to create a ray that divides angle C, B, A, C, B, A into two congruent angles. So I'm going to show you the steps to do that. First, click on the circle tool, and much like the one we just completed with the line, I'm just going to draw some random circle centered at B. It comes out here on both sides of the angle and click. Now what I'm doing is creating a point from B to E and from B to this other point. They're going to be the same distance because they're both radius. So I'm going to click on the intersection tool, I'm going to click the circle, and this segment here so I can find this other point of intersection. Okay, now that I have these two points on the angle, I'll click the circle tool again, and I'm just going to draw a random circle. And for me, I'm going to put that circle, I could go way out here or way in here, but I'm going to make it just inside the angle, about right there. Okay, now I'm going to take my other circle tool that allows you to measure the radius, and I'm going to click at the center of E, and click out here to G, that's the radius of this circle that I just created. And I can put this circle anywhere I want to, but I'm going to put it on the other point, F. And by drawing these two circles, you can see that, that they intersect at two places. That Those two intersection points will create a ray that bisects the angle. So I'm going to use the intersection tool. I'm going to click on circle F and circle E to find these two points. And now I'm going to select the ray tool. That's this one that has an end point and a line that goes on forever. I'm going to click on the point B, which is the vertex of this angle, and run that right through I and H. And that ray that I've created by drawing those three circles answers the question of how do you use the straight edge in a compass to create a ray that, that splits these two angles in half. Now notice my ray that I drew is close to the point D that I created, but not exactly, and that's okay. Okay, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. Read, make sure you read through the summary. It gives you the vocabulary that you're going to need, like angle bisector, And then notice that at the bottom, the, the glossary that we are working with keep, keeps growing as we can, excuse me, as we finish more lessons, it adds to the glossary, and it's a good idea for you to look through that and make sure you're understanding those.